their four years. Bethany has been around for 25 years. We're having our anniversary this year. Um, and actually, it was an initiative of the Family Shelter Partnership Program a few years ago that started the Center Access Point, the CAP line. So I want to tag on to that real quickly before I move ahead with the rest of the Family Shelter Partnership. Um, Georgine was referencing the calls early last year, but in the second half of 2009, the CAP line calls had a total of 5,404 phone calls. And those broke down into four different categories. Just basic information, where can I find this? Um, shelter for families, shelter for individuals, and then prevention calls. So that's a lot of calls coming into one phone line that is open 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. weekdays and 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. weekends. And if you want the number, it's 381-SAFE, 381-7233. You can tell I've got that in my head. <laughs> right. um, Family Shelter Partnership Program has been around for 10 years. Um, we are the oldest working group in the continuum of care. We have been blessed to have five great agencies and shelters working together to provide family shelters for homeless families here in Hamilton County. Um, and Faith Hospitality Network is one, Bethany House Services, the YWCA's Better Women Shelter, Mercy Franciscan and St. John has a couple different sites. They utilize some rooms at Anna Louise and they also have some scattered site apartments on Main Street. And then um, the Salvation Army also has a emergency <coughs> shelter. Um, there are, each of the shelters are unique in their own way. We're all the same in that we are trying to serve homeless families, women and children, and some two-parent couples and dads with kids as well, um, to obtain income and housing. Um, <coughs> as far as um, connecting with income, we have a specific income maintenance worker at Department of Jobs and Family Services, and um, last year, 89% of families were hooked up with benefits through that department. That's pretty good. Um, over the last year, the Family Shelter Partnership served 661 families with children, 718 adults, and 1,432 children altogether. Um, and 71 families were served in both emergency shelters and then moved on to transitional housing. <coughs> a total of 578 families with children were served in emergency shelters and 154 families with children were served in transitional housing. Um, quite a few of our shelters also have transitional housing programs. That would include Salvation Army, the YWCA's Better Women's Shelter, they have a Women Works Program and Transitional Program, and Bethany all have transitional services. Um, we also um, have developed some new programs over the last year that Georgie and I are both going to talk about in a moment. Um, they've all come out of the need of the homeless families and what they really need in the community and what we can offer them. The first one would be um, right. we, we're like tag teaming on this at this point. <laughs> We've worked out our smooth sideways. Um, exactly. Well, I guess the, nationally there's kind of a trend moving away from your traditional shelter model. Yes. Um, and the reason is that because shelter length of stay has been going up and up and up and up. Because if you don't have affordable housing at the other end to move people into, then people are, are getting, staying in shelter so long, it's starting to look like transitional housing, and then you have a larger street population. So um, one of the, the trends that have started with the new administration is on prevention, yes. and the other is on rapid rehousing. Um, so prevention dollars came into Cincinnati, but they were earmarked for individuals rather than families. Um, and then a, a second pot of money came in, which Laura will talk about. But the rapid rehousing money that came from the Ohio Department of Development is the program that we all started implementing in February. Each of the family shelters got a case manager at their site specifically working with the families who have the least amount of barriers to housing. Um, we call them level one. Um, that's uh, less of an eviction history, less of a criminal history, less time having been homeless. The, the people who are new to homelessness and are, are just brand new at it. And the goal is to move them through the shelter in under two weeks into their own apartment which is an ambitious goal, but we're able to do that because the case manager stays with them in their apartment and then stays 
with them for up to a year, but we're hoping more around the six month mark to get the family stabilized and able to sustain that apartment moving forward. So that's a brand new model um, that this, we're still working the kinks out on, but so far we've moved, how many families? Lots. Almost I know we've 32. moved. two. Yeah. And within four months we moved almost 32 families out of shelter and into housing within that level one program. I know we've had nine families move out since February at IHN, and within two weeks, they're they're gone. So mm -hmm. um, that's kind of the level one rapid rehousing to date money, and then level right. two, level two moderate is moderate barriers. Yeah, exactly. Um, we 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 decide to call them level one, level two, level three based on their housing severity. Again, the level one is for the first time homeless. The level level two serves the people who've been around in shelter at least two or three times. Preferably not five or six, that's for the level three, um, and I'll get to that in a minute. Level two was actually pro provided through a federal HUD grant. Uh, we did a wonderful program, um, exhibit two, all of this on a national basis. We were very competitive. It we was a 25 pound grant. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, was, it, was, big ones. it was It was <laughs> huge, too much paper to think about. We don't want to think about the trees that were killed. Um, however, um, we were up against 120 some agencies across the country to get this grant, and we were one of the 23 agencies that received the federal HUD grant to do this level two program. We call it Rapid Rehousing for Families. What it provides is it provides a few case managers hired by Bethany that actually go to each of the, the family shelters that scoop up the families work with them, help them get a place to live and move from shelter into house.